Hey there, folks. It's Boba the Vulture again, and uh, we're we're very near the end of the uh, long national nightmare. Here, it is almost over. Of course, the nation in particular we're talking about here is Iran. The Tehran terrible, the terrible Tehran scenario is almost over. Just we're running out of time on it. We won't win. Now, folks, the challenge is to make sure no one else does. Oh, whoops. That's more like it. Okay. Um, sorry, I had the analog stick on this controller on instead of the uh, regular old D-pad. <laughs> Who plays Super Nintendo games with an analog stick? Huh? Nobody. Anyways, folks. Okay, so yeah, they don't have anything in Oceana. My eyes were playing tricks on me. I thought they had uh, started uh, making flights into Oceana. Metlink, I mean. Illusion expects that the production of the IL-96-300 will end within the year. Which is weird, because I kind of thought that was the one good plane to come out of Russia. Other than the ones I just ordered to ten of. Uh-oh, Siberia. Oh, Siberia's backing out. Backing out in, uh... Okay, they're entering negotiations with nothing, do you? Okay, got some money here. Got some... Got some roots. Got some regions. Our home base is located in the Middle East, but I'm glad you've killed me! Alright. And here, we got uh, a bunch of Tupolev TU-204s. They have been delivered. How should we buy them for? Like, 11-something? Let's go to World Lease and see how much they're offering for them. $1,700? Hmm... Just one moment, folks. Yeah, folks, just went back to the tail that's tape. This is exactly the price I purchased them for. So... I mean, I was... almost tempted to actually try and use these planes, just because their seating capacity is a little bigger than the A320s. But they're so much less efficient. So much less. I mean, they do cost twice as much, the A320s, but... I don't know where I'm going to need as many... Hmm. I'm almost tempted to... Let's see. What kind of planes do I have running here? I can fill my A320 here, and my A320 there. If I used the 204s here, yeah, it just seems like a terrible idea to use those planes, you know? My profit margins would probably get smaller, but I increase my passenger numbers. And since I'm not going for number one in those regions, well, let's look at Oceana right now. Let's see how the uh, Perth route is going. Okay, the Sydney route's going well. See, the Perth route is actually doing better with more planes on it. The Adelaide route is doing very well with the number of planes it's got on it right now. Now then. get a full 14 slots in Brisbane. It'll take us nine months, but we can do it. Who else shall we send to bid? I know that Nandi is the uh, hot spot for tourists right now. People love going to Fiji, but um, these are the big cities. 
I get the feeling by the time I do all the negotiation and set up the flight and get a plane set for it and everything, the the bloom will be off the rose of Nandi. Now these routes to Melbourne and uh, Brisbane will probably not be as profitable or cool as the route to Perth or the route to um, Adelaide, but. We are, at this point, we're just going for raw numbers. We're just trying to crush, um, or we're trying to prevent Metlink from crushing us down here when they eventually start expanding this way. Because, uh, uh, I, think, I think it actually, pardon me, I think it actually was Bitbuck and Cynic this time who, who left me the, n the, the note of, uh, of hope that, um, that Metlink is close to its 40 flight limit, like every uh, every airline in this game, you're only allowed a certain number of flights total in your entire like scheme. Um, now that wouldn't stop Metlink from canceling flights elsewhere to try and gain number one in Australia or in uh, Oceania, but. Um, It's weird to have a, a, a fleet of planes that are essentially at this point free. Hmm. Well, since I clearly can't open any new routes this month, let's first look at. Tokyo to Shanghai route, doing very well. Bangkok, of course, doing fine. Singapore, not that great. Hong Kong is no, no longer perfect. Do we have competition here? We don't. They're just not as full as it could be. Shocking. Even the Beijing route. We gotta put another plane out to Shanghai, though. Got to put another plane out to Shanghai, and we need to get at least a few more routes, or a few more routes in and out of Tokyo. Actually, let me take a look at North America. Are we at full capacity here? We have two more slots, which is all we need right right now. But um, let's go ahead and negotiate for a few more. There aren't a whole lot more slots. So we're going to get more airport slots in Sydney soon. I tell you what, I'm not sure whether these uh, TU-204s that I have depreciate. So I'm going to hang on to, you know, if I lose a little bit, you know, I lose a little bit on 10 planes, that's going to be slightly unfortunate, but if I just lose a tiny amount on each of the planes, next quarter, it's not going to be so bad, but if I don't, that will lead me to believe that the planes don't appreciate, or don't appreciate, or depreciate much. And if that's so, then I've just got ten free planes sitting around. If I ever actually need the money that I use to purchase them, I can just go cash them in. They are, um... There is an accounting term for this, and uh, I can't remember what it is, because I... Took some economics courses, never really took any accountancy classes. Um, that's actually really going to bug me now. Oh, well. But yes, I'm doing something that kind of makes sense, I think. Man, I keep getting little gusts of wind into my thing there, and I'm not meaning to. Yes, we can do this. We can order a maximum of three planes. Let's go ahead and order the maximum of three planes, because when I get new routes, or I can add one more flight onto Tokyo to Los Angeles, I can add one more flight to Sydney to Tokyo, and then, um, that's right, I wanted to swap the A320 that's currently on the Shanghai route. 
Um, I either wanted to swap it or add a new one on. I can't remember which one I wanted to do now. But either way, 11,000, 11,700,000. That's the magic number, folks. Um, if it turns out that the planes are depreciating, I'll just sell them back. It'll be a small loss. Um, if they're not depreciating, I'm just going to hang on to them in case I either need them as planes or, yeah, just something. Anyway, just because, like, oh, no, it turns out I'm desperately short of planes. Nope, I have a fleet of ten of them right here. They're not great planes, but they're planes. They'll, they'll get you in the air. they get you drunk. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. Anyhow, folks, um, that's what's going on right now. Let's go ahead and cut this quarter. Okay. Business is booming as tourists continue to uh, flock to Nandi. They want to set up a farm on Fiji and have a sheep and a cow and breed horses. With a sheep and a cow. No, with horses and horses. Red Dwarf was a really good show for the first, like, season or two. Um... I thought so, anyway. Hmm, yeah, it's gonna take a lot of work to uh, beat them in Southeast Asia now. We may be uh, better off trying to uh, nitpick at them at the small routes or regions that don't provide as much profit. Although, as we do that, we'll be eating away at our own quarterly profit, which we have less of to, uh, to get, you know, to, to... We have less profit that we can chip away at than Medlink can. If we change our business practices so that we begin to lose 153,380,000 a quarter, then they're like, yeah, we can do that too, and we still have 100,000, approximately, profit left at the end of each quarter. So, they would give me the raspberry. They would dare give me the raspberry. Lone Star! Okay. Number two in Europe. That's cool. No, we're not number two in Europe. We're number three in Europe. Honestly, we could become number two in Europe without very much trouble. We might even be able to get number one in Europe, but it would take a uh, it would take all of our efforts. And right now, we want to focus those on becoming number one in Oceania. Right, guys? Who's with me? Who's with me? Look at it go so fast. Alright, so now I'm going to go to World Police and see how much the TU-204s would sell for now. Nope. Don't want to sell those ones. Don't want to sell that. Hey, so... 11 million, 700,000. They're just there if I need them. It's very reassuring. Let's go to Southeast Asia. Let's do it. Rock Pella. Um, yes, let's get another A300 on this route. an extra five flights. Let's set it. And forget it. Now then. London to Tokyo. Tokyo to Sydney. Let's add another plane here. Three flights a week. Is that cool? That's cool, man. It's all good, baby. direction, this direction. Tokyo to LA. Still completely full airplanes. Let's add one more, get two more flights going. That is how we want to change those flights. Why you want to change my flights? Ooh, why you want to change my flights? Okay, then. Tokyo to Sydney. Well, Sydney to Adelaide, going well. Sydney to Perth, going well. Although now, as a fun science experiment, currently those flights are full. 
Let's put this larger plane on it. Larger plane, which gets poor uh, economy. And see if it works. It won't be as profitable. But if we can still manage profit, we'll still be moving more passengers. Same with this flight. Let's put our 204s on here. Or let's put a 204 on there. Is it okay to change this flight as shown? Yes. Now then. Let's go to the other region where we have lots and lots of uh, full capacity flights. London to Athens. Not very profitable. You know what? I think before I even try and put a... Uh, put a better flight on there, or put a bigger plane on there, I'm going to try and get that back up to the average. Now then, here, I can go ahead and try putting the TU-204 on it. And we'll set the fare and see what happens. Now, having done that, let's see how that has affected our plane use. We now have four A320s that we've made available because we used them. We replaced them with 204s. So, now we got some A320s available. Um, we don't have any slots right now in... I was thinking that one thing that we might actually do to uh, boost our stock in the United States would be to use... Uh, well, first of all, you'd need some slots in Los Angeles. I'm going to go ahead and get some slots in Los Angeles just because... How many slots? That many slots, please. We'll take six months. Now you'll notice, and this is something that the computer sometimes does, that just confuses me. They have 19 slots in Los Angeles. Their regional hub for this, you know, their home base region here is in New York. So they can't possibly have more than 14 flights going into Los Angeles. I mean, you see the, the little colored boxes there, the red, blue, orange, and green boxes. And the number at the top is the number of slots that you're using, and the number at the bottom is the number of slots that you possess. Right now, they're only using one of their slots, and they have 19, which is more than the maximum that they can even use. They'll let you negotiate for more. They don't have any problem with that. But, yeah, it's just a puzzling thing that, uh, well, I guess uh, for the next six months, we aren't going to be able to do anything with our agents. Well, that's too bad. Got a lot of extra money sitting around at this point, but I'm going to let that sit so that I can open up those routes when they become available in, uh, in Oceana, once they're finished getting done. And I can purchase a bunch of planes in an emergency if I need to. Siberia, mm, I understand the temptation for order Tupolevs. Oh, maybe they had a sale. Metlink opened a route between Sydney and Melbourne. Okay, they are trying now. Metlink opened Brisbane. Okay. Alright, we're king of interregional passengers. Hey, we've moved up to number two in Europe. And we're, we're closing in in Southeast Asia. We're still number one in Oceania, but they, they gathered up steam far too quickly for my taste. <sighs> See, what we might have to do is put A300-600s on routes down here. I didn't think there were enough, uh, there, there would be enough demand for it. But, um, we'll see. I mean, heck, if the 204s that I've put on those routes down there are still getting 100% full, I mean, the next step up would be an A310 or an A300-600. So, we might go that route. MetLink is going to open. Yeah. They opened a new route between London and Zurich. Wait, and then they terminated it. What? That link is insane. You can go back to the tape yourselves and have a look real quick, but it looked to me like they 
created a new route between London and Zurich, and then immediately terminated it. That doesn't... Doesn't make any sense, folks. Alright, London City. Okay. Our profit margins are lower. Wow. How is it that when we had an A300-600... Like, there's no competition on this route. They didn't open a route to Perth. I don't understand. And I understand that them flying into this region, in theory, will mean that on the routes that they go with... Um, right now they have one route. It is to Brisbane. Or, no, sorry, it's to Melbourne. Um... But... Uh, what? Alright, I... am not understanding what's going on here. As far as their craziness. What is Tokyo full flight? Tokyo to Shanghai? Not a completely full route anymore, but we have a lot more passengers on it. Because we put in, like, five more flights. Um, Bangkok, so full. We might want to get another plane on that route. We'd have to get some more slots, of course. Singapore, not completely full, so I tell you what, let's lower the fare a little bit. Value-priced flights to Singapore. Go, Malaysia. Wait, no, not Singapore's not Malaysia, jeez. Um, Hong Kong. Okay, let's lower this fare a little bit too. Trying to maximize passengers here while still maintaining a profit. It's a tricky balance. It's a heavy score. We don't even have competition on these routes. And yet, they're, like, doing poorer now because Metlink has a lot of flights in this region. They're all to the places we're not going, though. Which makes a certain amount of sense, because our relationship... Our Iran's relationship with China is probably better than the United States'. Um... Yeah. There are considerations like that to be made. Of course, we have no slots in North America right now. Let's check the tail of the tape in Europe. Alright, so... That route's still not completely full. We're still completely full on this flight to Rome. Also, while I'm thinking about it, let's see whether or not our... TU-204s have depreciated any. Depreciation watch, folks. Isn't it exciting? They're still causing the exact same. Alright then. Time to get a handful of A300-600s. And order a maximum of seven. I'm gonna order five, which will leave us a little bit of money in the bank. But these are sort of the relatively fuel-efficient, still big-capacity planes. I can try and put these on... I mean, and if you look at it, the mileage is, I believe, the same as the TU-204. TU I can go check with the Tupelo Design Bureau real quick anyway. Hey, how you doing, miss? Yeah, it's the same economy, actually. So, um... Same economy, just a larger seating capacity and a bigger range. More expensive, of course, but it's, um, in theory, the, the, the profitability will still be roughly the same. Um, we just won't have as many. We'll just have more seats on it. So, that's all good, right? Tell you what, since we can't do anything else with our agents this month, let's talk to them. Let's have a meeting. I call this meeting to order. We have an unprofitable route. I know, I know. I know, Junior. It's sad. Why don't people want to go to Florida? F 
Florida is nice when there's not hurricanes. That's why they build all those theme parks there. Shall I conduct the meeting? I'm so glad that I'm the one that gets to conduct the meeting. Let's discuss opening new routes and creating new sentient armor with the goal of using it to destroy Ehadurka. Between Terra and Pompeii. I mean, we should have something over there, right? I guess. Or London and Paris, you know. That's a gimme, right? Let's also open room between Tokyo and Tehran. Not a bad idea, but. You also want to establish service between Tokyo and South America, of course. How about Mexico City? Affirmative, Vicky the Small Wonder. Um, let's not talk about adjusting existing routes, let's just discuss our plane holdings. Our company has 52 total aircraft with 42 planes in service. We should buy more A300s, 600s. And we need more A20s. Notice nobody's saying I need more TU-204s. Pulling more planes in reserve makes it easier to open routes. Let's discuss our business ventures. Okay! Company owns three business ventures, baby. Profits for business ventures are fifteen fifty. The route through Los Angeles isn't doing so well. I suggest we buy the city hotel there. We don't have much capital. We have pretty good capital. Although, thank both of you guys for mentioning it. I really should before and hopefully saying this now, the computer's not listening to me. But I should really go on a spree and buy, once I get my agents back, buy some business ventures in Australia. Yes. Yes, I should. And I think that's what we're going to do in the next quarter, folks, um, provided I have my agents back. I have them back next month, don't I? Yes, I have all four of my agents back next month. Okay. So... The Olympics in Sao Paulo will now begin. Travel there should increase considerably. Our interregional passengers are up a titch from the, uh... Yeah, yeah, we're number two in Europe, baby. Baby! Okay, I'm still number one in Oceania, by a decent margin. And our profits while down a little bit because we're using uh, less efficient planes on some of those routes to get more passengers. Um, or to bid to offer more passengers, a uh, way to get on. Um, yeah. Regardless, whatever that stuff I was saying, that stuff, yes. Um, so now what we've got to do is continue our blitz in Oceana. Metlinx ordering some seven oh oh Cindy and Nandi. It terminated its service between London and Vienna. Opened a route between Sydney and Brisbane. They're entering negotiations with Adelaide. Alright. Our home base is located in the Middle East. Blah 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 blah. Eleven slots in Los Angeles. Fourteen slots in Brisbane. Fourteen slots in Melbourne. And nine slots in Tokyo. And our Airbuses are here. This may be a crucial turn, folks. This may be a crucial turn. Because I've got a certain amount of capital, and I've got a certain number of dudes. Let's, well, first of all, let's do this. Let's look at the routes we already have. Okay. The Sydney to Adelaide route is not completely full anymore. What gives? And the Sydney to Perth route is getting even less full as time goes by. Alright. We're not concerned about making a profit now, so we are going... Well, we're still concerned about making a profit in general as an airline. But right now, our primary goal has to be... Uh... 
undercutting the prices of Metlink. Let's see what Metlink is doing here. They have a new route for 5% over using a single MD80. I think we can do better than that. Let's start with an A320. And let's put... Okay, we can't put that many because we'll use up all our slots in Sydney. We will use... below. We'll open the route. Yes. And if this works, then great. Then absolutely fantastic. It's like the NBA. It's fantastic. Okay. Then the route to Melbourne. Let's use an A320 on it. What is the competition here? Competition here is a 747 that is already a third of the way full using five flights a week. Let's go back another step. We will use an A320, or an A300-600 on this route. I will use one, and we will offer five flights a week as well. And we will offer them at a steep discount. plane will take off quickly. It will take off quickly down under. Quigley. You have always been my closest friend, Quigley. I would never betray you and do something terrible. Quigley. In case you can't tell, Quigley, I'm Alan Rickman. Anyone who's seen the movie Quigley Down Under may understand this. Or may not. It is hard to say. Okay, the only business we can afford right now is the City Hotel. If it's the only business we can afford, we better get it while we can. And we're not going to check out any more business possibilities. We are going to enter into negotiations for slots in Auckland. A New Zealander man with a permanent tan, that's a Maori. As the old song variation goes. Alright. Now then, where else do we want to bid for slots down here? You may. Pepit? Let's take a look at Pepit here. We're a pretty good negotiator. Yeah, Tahiti. Okay. Tahiti, and we have pretty good negoti or relations with the French. The people of Fiji, I imagine, don't have any real problem with us either. 2052. Come on. Look at that. Okay. I'm thinking Tahiti is the way to go here. We will never need all 14 of these slots, but we're going to go ahead and get them, just in case. Um, we don't have a whole lot of extra money lying around at this point, but we need... Okay, somebody's already negotiating for slots here. Oh, no, somebody's buying a business venture. Yes, then we need to get more slots here. Get more slots. Operation Get More Slots is now in effect. All right. And then I'm going to go to Europe and make use of one of my new A300-600s. Actually, wait a minute. How did... How is Southeast Asia doing? I should check on that first. First of all, the London Tokyo flight, of course, it's doing great. Shanghai route. It's not completely full, so let's lower the fare a little. Let's lower the fare 20%. Is it okay to change that flight? Yeah, it's okay to change that flight. Um, what else is going on here? Bangkok. Mm, 
if I have more time. Okay, so that flight is fuller and better and cooler. Um, Hong Kong, we just lowered the rate on that, didn't we? No, we didn't. Let's lower it again. Is it okay to change the flight? Yes. Okay. And Beijing. Beijing, we lowered a little bit already. Let's lower it a little more. It is okay to change that flight that way. I told you to. I want it that way. Alright. I'm going to raise the price on this route now that it's completely full. 10% to see whether or not we can get some more money to offset the losses we may end up incurring by practically giving away our fares in Oceana. Let's go to Europe real quick. And let's go ahead and while we are here, Athens at 8 through 20 is not all the way full. This 204 is completely full even with a higher capacity plane. So let's put an A300-600 on the route. Yes. One A300-600 will do nicely. And to celebrate, I'll even drop the fare back down to the average. Is it okay to change that flight as shown? Yes, it is. And pretty much we have all of our agents doing work in Oceana. Uh, I want to save this money so that we'll be able to open routes as they become available. So there's not much else to do this turn. I will place two cards face down in the graveyard and end my turn. Regional pastures stayed roughly the same, so I think that price increase probably didn't hurt us. We definitely got some more passengers in Europe. So that was a good benefit. That was a smart move. Um, Southeast Asia seems to have remained the same. Ah, we're pulling way ahead in Oceana, though. That's the spirit. We will hang on to it with our very lives. Our profit has remained roughly the same. So, what the hey? Things can't be so bad, right? What's so bad? Okay, so, these are the regional rankings at the end of 2004. Um, we've got mo one more year we have to hold out. Uh, what I might try and do is, um, I'll see whether or not I can both hold out, and I might see if I go back to an earlier state and, uh, throw the game in Metlink's favor, um, and that way, uh, you get to see both of those endings in Super Nintendo style. They're not significantly different from the, uh, Genesis ones that I think, but just as something different and exciting and new for everybody at home. Anyhow, folks, this is Boba the Vulture, this is Let's Play Aerobiz Supersonic, and we're almost done. We're almost out of here, guys. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.